when I first started using email and, you know, long before Apple had a mail client, long before Mac OS 10, uh, I, I found this graphical client that I, I think we all use, John. I know I certainly know you used it called Eudora and it was great, right? It would connect to our pop servers because this is before we, we used IMAP, even though IMAP predates pop uh, technologically speaking. But anyway, uh, you couldn't you could search in Eudora, but it would take forever to find anything. Right. So all I would do was file things in folders and subfolders. And I had. I think over 1500 folders where I stored my mail and that migrated with me. And you know what? I still have those folders, but I stopped using them maybe 10 years ago. And I have one archive folder that I save to. And once a year I will go and take like when, when January, 2023 hits, I will take all of the like 2021 and prior and put that in like a, an archive archive folder just to really to keep me from using too much space on my IMAP server is really where that comes from. Ooh, you got to tell me how to do that. Well, there's no <laughs> near a show to talk about that. So. If only there was. Um, so <clears throat> it gets tricky. Uh, the, yeah. On the surface, it's not tricky at all. Right. Uh, on the surface, it is simple. You just create the new folder on, I create it on my Mac, it, like okay. in that section sure. called on my Mac and mail. Yep. And then I highlight, I go into my, my archive folder mm-hmm. and I select all of the messages that are from say, you know, 2021 or whatever year, whatever time period. And I right click on it and I say, move to the new folder that I've created. And or you can drag too, but I, yeah. I get I get nervous. Whoops. Yeah, don't don't drop them in the wrong place. Right? Correct. Yeah, because this is going to be an ordeal, no matter how you slice it. And then you you let them move, and you and it will take sometimes hours for this to happen. Mail's activity window isn't entirely clear with you about what it's doing and how. You kind of need to just trust that over time it will work. I confirm it by checking on whatever server I'm using. So if, you know, if, if I was using Gmail, I, I would log into the Gmail web interface. I use Fastmail, so I log into the Fastmail interface and just make sure, okay, yeah, look, all of those are there. Okay, great. It's, you know, good to go. Nice. I suppose I could do it if the web interface, oh, no, the web interface wouldn't allow it because uh, I'm moving to an on my Mac folder. The whole idea is to get it off of the server. It works, And that part all works. So here we are. The problem, the only asterisk that I should add, and it's a huge one, is if you use Gmail. And I mean Gmail as Gmail or Google Apps for domains or whatever. If, if, if Google is in charge of your mail server, it doesn't really do IMAP. We've had this conversation on the show a few times, and this is one of those times where it really matters. Because what will happen is Google treats What your mail client sees as folders, Google treats as labels. And so when you move something out of a folder, Google just removes the label of that folder. So it doesn't put it in the trash. It just leaves it in your all mail folder on Google. And so I had to come up with a secret, not secret. I will, I will, I will put an example of it out here, but you've really got to craft your own search carefully to make sure you're excluding the boxes that you don't want to delete. Uh, but I, I came up with a, a, uh, an advanced search, and that's a Google term, uh, for finding all of these orphaned messages, if you will, that aren't in an archive folder. They aren't in a sent folder unless you want to remove things from your sent folder. But I think you should archive those before you remove them. So finding all these orphaned messages and then identifying them so that you can select them and delete them. So if you're using Google, you have to do this extra step because otherwise you, it won't it won't clear them off the server. They'll just be sitting in like purgatory somewhere. So 